As Attack on Titan is slowly coming to an end, I thought I should draw Eren. If you want to watch the whole process, lean back, grab a coffee and tatake. I wanted to draw as Titan for a while now and finally got to do it, which really makes me happy because I drew a few other characters before. I drew him in his human form as well and I drew Hanji and Levi a few times actually, fangirl alert. <laughs> but yeah, so I really wanted to draw him in his Titan form and I thought it's now or never. And originally it was going to be much bigger. I wanted it to be huge like my Z drawing a few years ago, but I had some hand or slash joint pain and inflammation issues, which are hopefully resolved for now, but I still didn't want to put too much strain on my hand right away and take it easy. So that's why I chose a medium or slightly big paper size of A3 and I'm using graphite pencils mainly or only with one colored pencil element in his eyes, which you're going to see as I'm drawing. And I just love drawing in black and white in general with a very, very strong contrast. It sort of turned into my personal style unintentionally, but I'm loving it. I think black and white just looks really classic and then sometimes as I will do here, I'm adding one or two colors to just, you know, make it more interesting, to make it more spicy. I also wanted to draw Eren's Titan in full body form. I just wanted it to be epic and <laughs> put him in a really cool pose. But I sketched around and decided to just draw a close up of his face because of the paper size mainly, but also because I wanted to add details like veins and ripped skin areas which wouldn't be as visible on this paper size versus a big paper size. And I also decided to add Aaron's human form, which you can see the outlines uh, on this one, but I will upload a separate process video on his human form later on, and then you can also see the full image when it's all done. And overall, I thought this would look really cool. It's usually intuition at the end when it comes to how the drawing is going to look when it's finally done. Sometimes I will have a plan on how I want to draw, but then it turns out to be something completely different. And But that's really what I love about drawing. It's just unpredictable, I guess. For inspiration and reference, I looked at his Titan form, mainly from the anime, from different angles. And I also looked up some 3D models of his Titan. That really helps me to understand the shapes of faces of the specific face that I'm drawing. And I really like drawing profile views, so I chose to draw him that way for both his Titan form and his human form. And yeah, as you can see, I really love detail work, so I had to include a lot of small details, like veins on his tongue and uh, also popping out on his neck. And I also just added these ripped skin areas on his jaw and the cut on his ear. I think details are initially what make a drawing come alive or a painting as well, like highlights and details. Uh, lighting in general is really important as well. That's also why it takes me so long sometimes to finish a drawing, which is completely fine. I like taking it slow with drawing. As I mentioned, I'm going to post a second part of this drawing very soon where I'm drawing his human form. So if you want to see the full image when it's done, Stay tuned for the next video. And you can also, in general, see all of my drawings when they're done as full pictures on my Instagram. I think that's about it. You can't see, but I'm making really weird hand movements right now. I don't know why. Anyway, stay safe and until next time. Bye!